They call me the pro creator. Control it, control it. I've helped 13 Olympians. Ah! Last one. Transform from impressive to legendary. FST7 is my masterpiece. Fascia stretch training. Hold it, hold it. You can substantially change the shape and size of your muscles. Come on. It won't be easy. Ah! Up. It will hurt. Ah! Come with me. Finish your set. And stretch your limits. Come on, now you're ah! working. Let's go, come on. Ah! My name is Hani Rambod. And now I'm in your corner. My name is Hanya Rambod. I'm here with Jeremy Buendia, 2014 Men's Physique Olympia Champion. We're here to show you our shoulder and tricep FST7 workout. Ah, All you. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Five. Five. Ah. Drop it. Negatives, five, let's go. This workout should last about 60 to 75 minutes. Due to the fact that we're doing shoulders and tricep, it will take a little bit longer than the other FST7 workouts you're about to see. FST7 is fascia stretch training seven. It's with the incorporation of high intensity training along with volumization training. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Today you'll see Jeremy Buendia taking care of the role as being the active trainee, and I'm gonna be the trainer. I'll be coaching One. him through on, the workout, five, get him through four. those hard sets. He's gonna turn around and show you the intensity it takes to win a Mr. Olympia title. Show me, show me. Hold it, hold it. <clears throat> Come on, fight me. Five, uh. drop it. One more. Uh. All the way, good job. So the first exercise in this workout is gonna be dumbbell shoulder press, so let's get at it. How you feeling? Feel good, I feel like, I feel loose. Today my shoulders feel pretty good, so. Okay, well take your time. Um, I don't want you to end up hurting your shoulder today. Okay, we're gonna do shoulders, shoulder press, two working sets, two warm-up sets. We do eight to 12 reps for the first exercise. Good, good range of motion. Just warm them up, don't forget to breathe. That's one thing a lot of people forget to do. They keep holding their breath through the, all the reps and through the whole set. Don't do that. You need the oxygen to be able to feel the muscle. All right, in my opinion, the shoulders are the key to physique. You need to have wide shoulders, small waist to have that dramatic peel, that big V taper. Because if you don't have those shoulder caps, what's gonna end up happening is your physique ends up looking straight up and down. So this is super important in the whole grand scheme of your, the aesthetic appeal of a physique. There you go, all the way. Good, good. How's that feel? Light. Good, good. Come on. All right, this is the first working set. Kick it up, kick it up. Two. I got it. There you go. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. That's it, that's it. Good, good, good. Normally we'd stop at around 90, but because he's feeling so good, we're gonna go ahead and bump it up to 100s. I just want to make sure that I have my, my wind back before right, I get right, right. into this last heavy set. You want to be able to rest. If you don't rest, you're just going to fatigue faster. What we're trying to do is we're trying to get maximum weight for that eight to 12 rep range. So if you end up taking too little time in between sets, you're just going to get tired and you're not going to be able to complete the next set. Let's go, lightweight. Oof. Good, good. Rest for a second, rest for a second, rest for a second, rest for a second. Rest for a second. Up. Uh, uh, I got it. Oh. Come on, I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm watching you. Oh. 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 Up. Oh. Up. Oh. Come on. Come on. Two. Oh. Two. One more. Oh. All you. Up. Oh. Up, 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 up. Slow. Oh. There you go. Good set. You're not going to have a, a perfect day every day you step foot in the gym. You're going to have some off days. It's very important to listen to your body and how you feel because if you go into the gym on an off day, it can open you up to injury. All right, we're on to the second exercise. We're doing lateral raises behind the back using the cables. All right, this can be done two different ways, Jeremy. You can either be upright or you can be leaning away from the apparatus. On this particular style, I want you to use leaning away. Okay? Because okay. that's going to give you constant tension. It's going to hit those delts a little harder. Okay. So here? Yep. You cross your feet? Exactly. You cross your feet. Uh. There you go. 
Like, just like if you're gonna punch me in the face. You wanna go just right up, there you go, right up to about trap height, nothing higher, because you wanna try to minimize the trap, maximize the delt. There you go. That's it. Good. Go. Good. Good. Squeeze up. That's it, just a little bit higher. That's it. Squeeze, there you go. Drive it up, good. Concentrate, use this as a warm up. Good. 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 There you go. Squeeze it up, good. Good. I feel my trap taking over on this one. Good, lean, lean a little bit more. That's it. Good. There you go, there you go. Good. Right in there, right in there. Good. Squeeze, good. Good. Last one. Good job, good job. That was a little bit better off your trap when you-, when you A little bit, but I just feel I got a little twinge in this trap. I'm go up. Okay, after this working set, we're gonna start squeezing. That was our warm up set. Yeah. Now we're gonna go ahead and do two working sets, eight to 10. Uh, Lean, good. Uh, up. Good, stretch, good. good. There you go. Drive, good. Good. Drive, good. Stretch and squeeze up. There you go, stretch, uh, good. Squeeze, uh, good. All the way, uh, good. Uh, Partials, give me five. Uh, One. Two, three, four, one more. Easy. Easy. Get some blood in there now. Good, good. One thing you have to remember too is you wanna be far enough away from the machine so that you have constant tension on the stack. If your weights are hitting the main stack, that means you're not far enough away. You want constant tension, so be far enough away. Partial. Oh, come on. One, oh, two, two, three. Eight. Come on. Four. Oh. Easy. Oh. Nice. Squeeze. Squeeze those delts. Stay wide. Stay wider. Even wider. There you go. Hold it. Hold it right there. Hold it right there. Squeeze those delts. Squeeze those delts. Squeeze those delts. Relax. All right? Yeah. <laughs> So the reason why we're doing the squeezing, stretching, and also squeezing again, is that what we're trying to do is we're trying to maximize blood flow and tension on the muscle. So not only, only are we doing it during the actual set, but we're doing it after the set. So we can end up getting, giving it that one-two punch that we're looking for to be able to break that next plateau. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an incremental weight. This is a little five pound incremental weight. You wanna use these because it gives you the ability to not have it too heavy, but also if the last set was a little too easy like his was, then it'll give us that ex extra force and that tension that we're looking for. Good. Up. There you go. Up. Good. Stretch and squeeze. Up. Good. This is the stretch and that's Up. the squeeze. You don't wanna go too high, otherwise Up. you're gonna engage too much trap. You wanna tilt. Up to be able to get constant tension on that delt. Aye. Good, good, Aye. good, up, Aye. partial, go. Uh. One, two, uh. three, four, uh. and five. Good set, good set. What is that, seven and a half? Five. five. Uh. One, uh. two, three. Uh. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, partial, five, four, three, two, one more. You got it. Come over here, squeeze it. Squeeze it out. Same thing. Let me see a pose. Squeeze, squeeze, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, 
Right there, hold it. Three, two, one. Good start. How's the burn? It's burning. <laughs> yeah. Good. All right, we're on to the next exercise. Front raises, thumbs up, two working sets. He's all warmed up, so we're ready to go. Good. Not too high, not too high. Don't let those traps kick in. There you go, there you go. Good. 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 Squeeze, good. Good. Breathe, breathe, don't hold your breath. Good. All the way. All the way. All the way. Now together. together. Oh. Control it. Control it. Touch oh. control. That's it. Oh. Pause. I want you to pause for a second. Oh. Pause. Good. Oh. Oh. Pause. Good. Oh. Oh. Pause. Good. Oh. Pause. Oh. Good. One more. Oh. Pause. Oh. Oh. That's it. Oh. Oh. Easy. That was too light. It's too light. I knew it when you reached for him. First exercise we did shoulder press, we hit the overall shoulder. Second exercise we did was lateral raise behind the back, we're hitting that lateral head. We're doing that side delt. That's gonna give us the cat. Third exercise, we're doing the front raise, we're gonna do the front delt, and that's gonna give him the separation that's needed right in the front that inserts right into the upper pec. Oh. Let's go, come on. This is it, time to work. No more sandbagging, let's go. One. Control it. Control it. Not too high. Not too high. There you go. Good. 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 Squeeze. That's it. There you go. Now you're working. Good. Good control. Good control. Control that top. Don't swing. There you go. Don't swing. Good. Two more. One. One. Two. Two, now give it to me together. Let's go, let's go, let's go. One, come on, give me five, four, two, three, two, one, partials, come on, five, one, two, three, four, five, drop it. Squeeze it out, come on, squeeze it. Squeeze those shoulders, squeeze those shoulders, come on. Squeeze those shoulders. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Good job. All right, this is our first rear delt exercise. What we're doing is we're supersetting bent over lateral raises with high pulley rows. So he's gonna go from one right up to the other. Pinky's up. Okay. Good. Good. Notice his pinkies are up. It's gonna help isolate that rear delt more. Good. His arms are almost straight, just slight bend. That'll put more emphasis on the rear delt, less on the trap. Good. Good. Go, go, go. There you go. Touching that rear delt to get that mind-muscle connection. Good. Good. All the way, two more, one more, one more. Partials, partials, five. Go, five. One, two, three, four. Good set. Catch your breath. Catch your breath. Catch your breath, sip this. Sip it real quick. Let's go. Get away, like that. Okay, foot up. Okay. Check that weight. Chin up, chin up. There you go. Squeeze back, farther, farther. Good. Squeeze, good. You notice his elbows and his rear delt are in the exact same plane. Good. He's pulling uh. right to his nose. Keep going, keep going. Good, five, four, three, two, one more. Good set, good, good, good. Right over here, pose a side chest. I wanna see that rear delt right there. Okay, good, bring that elbow back. Hold it, hold it. 
So this is the area we're working right here, that rear delt right there. So bring that elbow back, you can see it right there. Hold that pose, hold it, hold it, hold it. Bring your elbow back like that. Bring it back more, 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 more. Good, the other side now. Let's go, other side. Come on. Squeeze, bring that back, bring it back, bring it back, good. Good, 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 come on. Come on, bring that elbow back. Let's see that rear delt, that rear delt. Bring it back, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. Good job. Good, good. What you notice is also that we put his foot up. The reason why we put that foot up is to be able to get balance so you can build a base. So that way when you're, you're not gonna get dragged in front of you. So if you have a lap pull down machine, I recommend using a lap pull down machine. There's other attachments that could be used. You could use handles you could use some other types of ropes. I personally like the ropes, the regular ropes best, but you can try and experiment and see what you like. I just feel like fullness and volume throughout my whole shoulder. I don't just, not just my lateral hip, but the rear delt. I feel a good push right now against the skin. You know, uh, you should feel a lot bigger. You shouldn't, you know, you should feel like you've expanded out. The key to rear delt is finesse. You do not want to go too heavy on rear delt. It's very similar to like bicep brachialis. Other muscles kick in if you start using heavy weight. Right now, we're only using 30 pounds. Uh, Jeremy could easily use 40, 45, but what I want to do is I want to isolate. I want him to isolate this area, that rear delt. If he starts going too heavy, he starts bending that elbow, you're gonna end up hitting that trap, you're gonna hit up the rhomboids, you're gonna hit up, hit up everything but this. So what you wanna do is you want to keep those pinkies up because that helps isolate. You wanna keep the arm out, it's gonna help isolate, and you wanna keep that weight, something that's manageable, so you can isolate. The other thing is, you do not want to bend up too far up. You want to be perpendicular with the ground or slightly above that, and then you wanna be able to keep your head straight. Try not to move your neck around, otherwise you're gonna end up pulling a muscle in your neck. Let's go. Show me. Good. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Two. One more. Partial five. Partial five. Go. One. Pinkies, two, oh. three, four, oh. and five. Oh. Easy. Sip. Five, six, oh. seven, oh. easy, eight. Hey. Nine, five. ten, oh. five. Oh. Give me partials. Go. Oh. Four, three, oh. two, oh. two. Oh. One more. One oh. more. Oh. That's oh. it. Good. Bring those elbows back. Right there. Bring them back. Bring them back. Bring them back. Uh. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Uh. Hold it. Uh. Good job. So the nice thing about doing your rear delts and getting them to really grow is aesthetically is that you end up building width from the side this way. What we want is we want that three dimensionality. So that's why these rear delts are so important. All right, we're here at the final exercise. FST seven lateral raises. Seven sets, 10 to 12 reps, 45 seconds between sets. It's time to rock. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Keep going. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Put them down. All right, hands up. Hold it. Come on, up. Hold it. Up, hold it. Up, hold it. One more. Hold it. Go five pounds heavier. Come on, you got 30 seconds. You're on the clock. One, 
two, Ooh. control, control, three. Don't use those traps. Uh. Up. Seven, up. come on. Eight, no. nine. Partial, uh. five, one, uh. two, three, uh. four, uh. five. Uh. Drop it, five. Let's go, negative, let's go. One, uh. two, uh. three, uh. four, Last one. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. <sighs> Set two. Set two. Come on. Uh, two. Uh, three. Uh, four. Five. Uh, six. Uh, seven. Uh, eight. Uh, nine. Uh, ten. Uh, eleven. Uh, 12, uh, uh, come on, come on. 13, uh, 14, uh, easy. 15, uh, drop it. Uh, up, 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 up. Five, uh, two, uh, three, uh, four. Uh, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold uh, it. Those ones aren't even hard. Like these, these next sets, that's where it fucking hurts. Okay, that's good. We're gonna go up five more pounds. Come on, oh. you're on the clock. Oh. One, two, oh. three, hey. four, oh. five, six, oh. out, out, oh. seven, eight, hey. nine, oh. ten, partials, oh. partials, oh. two, oh. three, four, oh. five. Good. What you should do is you should tune into bodybuilding.com and watch the workout while you're warming up in the gym when you're on the treadmill before you're performing your actual workout. You do that, you'll be more motivated than ever. I guarantee it. Oh. Come on. Come on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh. eight, nine, nine. ten. Oh. Let's go. One, oh. partial, two, oh. partial, three, oh. partial, four, oh. partial, five, oh. drop it. Negatives, five, let's go. Up. One, two, three, four, five. Sip, sip. I can't even lift that fucking water bottle right now. Here. Need a straw. <laughs> <laughs> you can get the, the extra long Evogen straw. Let's do this. Let's go. You got two more. Two more. Uh, One, two, uh, three, four, uh, five, six. Uh, Easy. Uh, Seven, uh, eight, nine, uh, ten, five, uh, four, three, three, uh, two. Uh, One more. Uh, Good. Drop it. Uh, Hands out. Let's go. Let's go. Hold it. Oh, uh, come on. You're not even holding it. Uh, two. Three, uh, four, uh, uh. even I'm pumped. I'll set six, one more to go. One more to go. All right, show me why you're number one. Let's go. One, uh, two, three, uh, come on. Four, uh, five, get, get off me. six, I got it. come on. Seven, uh, easy, go. eight, go. nine, go. ten, five. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop it. Hands out. Hold it. Hold it. Come on. Fight me. Four. Come on. Three. Come on. Two. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. One more. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. That's it. Woo. All right. That concludes our shoulder exercises. Now we're going to go on, move on to triceps. We're gonna do three exercises, including the last exercise, which is gonna be our FSD7 set. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to a single arm reverse press down. How's that on your wrist? Feels good. Good. What part of the tricep are you supposed to be feeling? You wanna feel right in here and you wanna push with your index finger and your ring finger right in there. There you go. Index finger, forefinger, actually. 
Push. Good. Squeeze. You feel that? Yeah. Yeah. You almost want to push it a little bit away from your body. Good. Good. A little more angle. Good. Okay. Good. 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 Now he's going to use the other arm. And again, this is two warm up sets, two working sets. Good. Squeeze. Good. Squeeze all the way down. Using great form. Good. This is a finesse movement. You don't want to go too heavy. Actually, if you start going too heavy, you're going to start hitting your rear delts, and you're going to start hitting a little bit of trap as well. Good. Squeeze. Squeeze. Good. Good job. I felt when I brought the tension onto the index finger, mm -hmm. opposed to my ring finger and yeah. my pinky finger, mm -hmm. I felt it shift from the back of my tricep to the, to the, to side. the side. Yep, that's exactly right. Okay, let's go. Second warm up. Good. Push, push, push. Good, good. You feel that? Right in there. Again, this is the area right here, right in there. That outer tricep. Good. And what that's going to do is it's going to make your arm actually look wider. So the more you develop this area, the wider your arm looks. Squeeze. Good. Good. Keep going. Good. Squeeze. Good. Two. Come on. Three. Good. Focus, focus. Five. Good. Squeeze. Good. Squeeze. Oh. Squeeze. Oh. Oh. Squeeze. Good job. Good, good job. So due to the fact that he was actually feeling really good, warmed up, no issues with the wrist, we went straight into a working set. So again, we improvise. He feels good. We did one warm up, went into the second set as being a working set instead of a warm up, and then we're gonna do one more working, and then we're gonna go into the next exercise. Let's go, come on. Come on, right in here. Keep going. Aye. Keep going. Keep going. Uh, Keep going. Keep going. Uh, Last one. Good set. Uh, Let's go. Two. 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 Good. Three. Push, push, push. All the way. Four. Push, push. Push with those lead, those lead fingers. Those lead fingers. Good. Good. Push with those lead fingers. Eight. Nine. Ten. Oh. Come on. Squeeze. Oh. Squeeze. Good job. Oh. Man, dude, triceps are one of those things that burns. You've been saying that all week. I know, it's every muscle, huh? Now we're going to go on to dumbbell overhead presses. We're gonna do one warm up, two working sets. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Good. Good. Easy. Come on. Squeeze. Good. All the way up. There you go. 
Stretch and squeeze. Stretch and squeeze, good. Three more. One, two, one more. Good job. Good. Yeah, how much heavier do you want to go? I really don't want to push this one too heavy on this, on this one. I feel my elbow a little bit, but. So you want to go like what, 65 or 70? 70s. That was light. I can, I can do 120s on this, 130s, but I'm just going to go like 70 or 80. First working set, eight to 12 reps. Go! Good, good. On this exercise, you want to come down so that your wrist is parallel with your elbow, and then you want to get full extension. Boom, there you go. Squeeze, Three. keep going. Good, good. Squeeze, drive it all the way up. Good, good, good. Two more with me. Two more with me. One more. Good job. That's it. Got it? Good set. Good weight. Flex down. Flex down. Flex down. Flex down. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Flex down. Flex down. Flex down. Relax. Oh, man. A lot of people ask me, why do I separate the bicep and tricep workouts? And what we do is we end up actually doing a tricep workout with a major body part, a bicep workout with a major body part, and then lots of times we'll go in by itself and do bicep and tricep together. Last set. Watch your head, let's go. Good, good isolation, good. Two, good. Three, good. Four, five, six, seven, eight, give me 12, nine, 10, 11, one more. All the way, good job, good job, good set. Good set, tricep flex. All the way down and turn, 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 turn. When I say turn, what I'm doing is I'm telling them to turn that wrist out because that's gonna make that tricep fire even more. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Relax. All right, we're gonna do the final exercise for triceps. It's gonna be FST7 style, overhead tricep presses using the rope. Let's go, Jeremy. Good. Head up a little bit more, chest up a little more, a little more, a little more, a little higher. Like that. There you go. That's it. Good. Turn the wrist to the top. Boom. All the way. Turn. Good. Now what we're doing is we're getting him to turn the wrist because we're still trying to work on that outer tricep. That's going to help detail. Help create that detail. Good. Turn that wrist. Turn it. Good. Keep going. Come on, keep going. There you go. Come on. Don't poop out on me. Let's go. Good. Turn it. Turn the wrist. Turn the wrist. Now straight now. Keep them straight now. Good. Keep them straight now. Five, four, three, two, one more. Good job. Good. That was the first set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Turn the wrist. Nine, Nine. ten, Nine. eleven. Nine. Don't swing. Go. Oh. Two more. Come on. Five, four, oh. three, two. That's it. Good, come here, flex it down, flex it down. That's set two out of seven. Let's go, flex it down. All the way, hold it, hold it, hold it. Now to the side and flex. To the side and flex like you're posing. Hold it, hold that, hold that, hold that, hold that, hold that. Good, it's other side. Finish, come on. Good, hold it, squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze. Good job. Good. Again, what we're doing here is we're trying to 
finish off these triceps. So not only are we doing an FST7 set with short rest, but we're also squeezing a little bit more at the very end doing the posing. Let's go. Ugh. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, uh, eight, eight, nine. Five, Come on. Straight. Uh, Ten, five, four, uh, three, two, two uh, one, uh, zero. Uh, good, good, good. Flex this side, just like that, just like that. And just twist your upper body. That's it, just twist your upper body. Good, twist more, more, more. I want you to build that flexibility like that, even more. Squeeze. Let's go. One, two, three. You notice I have him turning his wrists, again, for that outer tricep, and then when he can't do that anymore, then he's going straight with the partials. Keep going. Go, straight, straight. Five, two, three, two, one more. Good job. There you go, there you go. Flex and twist. More, yeah, you, you gotta start learning how to get that twist. There you go. Get that twist even more, because now you're bigger than you were last year, so you have even more to twist now. There you go. Now other side. Good. Squeeze. Good. All right, that was set four. We got three to go. Let's go. Up. One. Oh. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, straight, five, five partials, four, three, two, one more. Good job. Flex back. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it, hold it, relax. That's it. Guess how many sets that is? Five, I got two more. Yeah. My arms haven't stopped burning since the first set. Good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Good job. Good, good. Let's go, side tricep. Good, and squeeze. Close it out, there you go. Hold it, hold it. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Other side. There you go. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Good. Catch your breath. Catch your breath. Just finish whatever's in this. Just finish it. Last one. This is it. On. Show me. Show me. Show me. Aye. One. Two. Aye. Good. Three. Aye. Four. Aye. Five. Aye. Six. Aye. Seven. Eight, hey. nine, hey. ten, oh. five. Let's go. One, oh. two, three, oh. four, five, oh. more, oh. six, seven. Keep going. Hey. Eight, nine, five more, oh. four, three, two, one more. All the way. Good job. Stay wide. Flex it like that. Yep, yep, yep. Flex it like that. Flex it there. Flex it there. Flex it there. Flex those triceps. Flex those triceps. Good job. Good workout.
that concludes our FST7 shoulder and tricep workout. The thing you can really get out of this video is that you can actually increase the amount of intensity in your own workout, information regarding how to perform the sets, and it can also motivate you to take your body to the next level and break plateaus. If you have any questions about this workout or any of the other FST7 content on bodybuilding.com, you can find me on Facebook and Instagram at Honey Rambo. And for more content like this, keep coming back to bodybuilding.com.